guys, welcome to Nerd Locker Podcast, your entertainment podcast for everything movies, television, video games, and more. My name is Adam. I'm Oliver. And today is our first out of many episodes out of SCCC, plus random stuff. Guys, we are taking this month off. We are burnt out. Not from necessarily the podcast, but just the podcast amongst voice acting, amongst work, amongst filming, amongst everything so else many that we're things. doing. So many things. So many things. You guys will get a lot of projects from us in the next few uh, months. I will say that it will be worth the wait. So with that in mind, we're going to go over the Marvel stuff from SDCC. Uh, so we're going to start off with the video games. Um, I'm going to let you run this just to jump over some of the things they talked about, which was Marvel versus Capcom. Right. Which they're bringing in more characters for Marvel versus Capcom, which is nice. And where is what system was that on? I it's forget. on all of them. It's on all of them. Yeah. Okay. Um. So they're bringing more characters. Obviously, they uh, uh emphasized Deadpool and Wolverine. Right. Yeah. They're With emphasizing Deadpool versus yeah. Wolverine all across platforms, including Marvel versus Capcom, um, uh, Marvel, Snap. Marvel Snap, and not Marvel Rivals. Weirdly no. enough. Not yet, but we'll get into that. Yes. Uh, what else do you have? Uh, there? The other one was, uh, I forget what it was, but it was another mobile game. But then they got mm. into Marvel Rivals, guys. And that one Marvel was... Marvel Rivals looks so fucking fun. It does. The gameplay doesn't look the best. I but... actually like the gameplay because it's it. if you play Overwatch, you know what I'm talking about. It's a third-person Overwatch with Marvel characters, 6v6. And I we've talked about this earlier before in the in the uh, earlier episodes of the podcast, and now we're in a sort of uh, earlier development area. So you can watch streamers and get a actual because it's uh, a beta, right? It's in yeah. we're in beta right now, so you can watch a streamer for an hour and you can get an actual key for it. Um, it's limited though; it's first come, first serve. So it's only until I th- when is this episode releasing? Uh, end of this week. So, so I you think, won't make it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think you guys will make it by the time this episode releases. But, We're releasing um, this on August second, which is Thursday. I oh think yeah, it's I think it's only until then. like yeah. August first or yeah. July thirty first or something. But uh, it looks really fun. Um, it looks honestly, it's gonna be a free game later on when it's fully developed. Anyway, yeah. So it, it oh, I'm so excited for it because it looks really fun. I want to play Iron Man. They just came out with Jeff. Yep. Mm-hmm. fucking the shark so good. and it looks so, so it's oh my god i can't so even cute. i can't even explicitly say like how fun it looks like but uh i i've been i've been enjoying watching it i haven't played it personally and we have a uh, doctor doom as the antagonist of this plus the protagonist kind mm-hmm. of fighting his future self which is kind of funny how this all like synced up together they knew kind of coincide yeah, yeah. Like, Marvel knew, like, we can't do what DC's doing, which we'll get into in another episode of what DC's doing. But, like, they're trying their best to at least coincide themes. Mm-hmm. They're not coinciding voice actors and actors and stuff. Um, but, so, real quick, I'm going to uh, – we're going to go on two, uh, uh, two movies that they announced or they talked about and then the other two movies afterwards. The first one is Captain America Brave New World. We got Harrison Ford coming out, 82 years old, still fucking – blowing dude this that's shit crazy out. Like, that is like, 82 i really think that like so he did the whole like whole thing and said like with motion capture he got a text from mark ruffalo that said like hey mm-hmm. this is not as bad as it seems and really helped him apparently and stuff but it definitely seems like his camaraderie with everyone he's the oldest person on the set so like you could tell like he was winded after running after Ma- Anthony Mackie. He did, stuff. yeah. Uh, so we have that going on. And then we also um, got apparently a clip of what was going to go on, which shows more of Red Hulk um, during a presidential speech. Like Harrison Ford will turn into the Red Hulk, uh-huh. which is crazy in front of people. But the other big thing that they announced, so they didn't show the footage, but we now know what the footage said which is the celestial that got frozen in the internals, they're harvesting animantium from him. Oh. So we are now going to get, this is like their seeds to get to Wolverine, their okay. version of Wolverine. So gotcha. like we're going to get animantium, and that's the thing that they want, just like vibranium. Vibra- they wanna, so yeah. is vibranium and adamantium two different things? Two different things, and adamantium is much more stronger than vibranium. Adam- oh, okay, gotcha. So everything that like, 
Wakanda's going for is kind of screwed over by this. I got you. So there's that. And then we jumped into the Thunderbolts, which we had this fun little thing with David Harbour coming out in costume and everything and talking about uh, – they all talked about, like, what was going on with this. And a lot of people were, like, mentioning, mentioning Florence Pugh as, like, the best actor they worked with, which was – Flo- I'm not oh, going to Florence Pugh that plays um, uh, Yelena Belova. Yeah, 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 yeah. They kept saying like how great it was to work with her. And I'm not saying it isn't, but it was just very odd that they kept saying like it's her her her. And I think it's because she's probably the lead in the the Thunderbolts like I think oh, that she's that makes the main sense. focus. Yeah. Um which I don't mind. I don't like with Sebastian Stan being Winter Soldier, he had his limelight with like his own TV show and stuff. And like Yelena needs a little bit more like push because I'm assuming she's going to become the next Black Widow. Mm -hmm. But the thing with the Thunderbolts is there's an asterisk behind it, and the asterisk has since changed into six bullets around it. And still, it's Kevin Feige in this presentation said, I'm not going to answer what that means, which is really big because like, what does that asterisk mean? Because that normally means like, there's subtext to it, you know? Right. And I have a theory about that, but before we get to our theory, here's a word from our sponsor. And thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. With BetterHelp, you know, you could tap into a network of 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who, you know, can help you with a wide range of issues. And like, when you start out, you answer a few questions and they, any preferences you have for therapy, whether it be for a certain thing you want to try to get over, whether it be uh, maybe too sporadic, anxiety, um, paranoia, whatever it is that you guys are going through, you can find the right therapist for you uh, by just answering a couple of simple questions. And you can also talk to the therapist that you know fits mostly for you. If you find out you're not a fit with this therapist or it's someone that you don't really want to talk to or just maybe doesn't get you, you're able to change any time, any place, completely for free which is i think in my case a really cool thing as well as you can get via text with your therapist you can do video call you can do just phone call so like it's whatever you really feel and you could change it up every single week if you want to like tell your therapist hey i don't think i have time to take a video call can i just take a phone call on the drive back from work like you can just talk to your therapist whenever you need to unwind and make those schedules for yourself so it's really cool exactly what adam said you can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you um, if your therapist isn't right fit for any reason, you can switch it to a new therapist that is a more, you know, more accustomed to your liking for no additional charge. Uh, with BetterHelp, you can get the same professionalism and quality to expect in an in-office therapy session, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you. Uh, more scheduling flexibility and at a more affordable price, get 10% off of your first month at betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker. Again, that's 10% off betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker. And we will have the link down below in the, in the description. Remember guys, mental health is just as important as your physical health. Keep yourselves in check. And we're back. So with uh, Thunderbolts, I think the asterisk probably means something about the super soldier serum. And also apologies, guys, if you can't see Oliver, he is dealing with light I do. <laughs> from the window. <laughs> Dude, that's, so that's why he's fighting the window it. here. So I'm yeah. trying to. Uh, so we have, I, I think it's going to be something about the super soldiers. I think because like the lineup of Ghost, Winter Soldier, um, Red Guardian, Yelena Belova, um, uh, Taskmaster, all these people that have taken the super soldier serum, US agent. Damn. A lot of them. Yeah, so I think it's going to get to a point where this is going to coincide with Captain America Brave New World with, like, Harrison Ford saying, like, I want to bring the Super Soldier back. I want to do this kind of stuff. And also the mm-hmm. Hulk is a stem off of the Super Soldier Serum as well. Mm-hmm. So I think it's really going down to a point where we're going to get our either our own version of Wolverine down the road in the MCU, which Kevin Feige okay. said we're not recasting that anytime soon. Dude. I don't think they should with Hugh Jackman being as great as he is right now. Like they could make him play this for a while. They could wait another five years for they recast a Wolverine. Ten years. Probably ten. Probably ten. Yeah. Uh so I think when they go into like where they're going with all this, I think they're just setting up the seeds for a super soldier serum that will end up going down the road hitting to like Wolverine. I highly doubt. Like, I see them recasting Hugh Jackman way before they recast Ryan Reynolds. Like, they won't. 
I because he also stemmed off of it, but I don't think they're gonna. How? Them. Well, here's the thing, like. How many Hugh Jackman Wolverines have there been? Yeah. Like, how many Wolverines have there been? Yep. And besides Henry, besides Henry, one. Yeah, at this point. So you have that, and then you also have. Um, they were talking about basically not recasting that, but going forward, we have Deadpool like coming into his universe and stuff. We have probably what's going to be incursions coming on. But they did do an interview with Chris Hemsworth about his time in Deadpool Wolverine. He's like, I never filmed that. And he's like, I oh, yeah. it wasn't me. That was just redone footage. And it makes sense. It was redone footage from when Loki died in Dark World. Mm-hmm. But they put in Deadpool as well as added the scar to Thor's face. So, like, they knew what they were doing there. I don't believe that that's what's going to happen. Maybe it will. I don't know. Maybe Deadpool's going to go through and, like, change some stuff up. Mm-hmm. But... <clears throat> If they don't recast Deadpool, they might kill them all. And that's fine. How do you kill Deadpool? Uh, I don't know, but Doctor Doom might find a way. You know, so we'll end up seeing what happens there. And then uh, with that in mind, uh, there are two other things I want to go over. But I kind of want to go over them um, in a way where, like, they kind of coincide. So we have Fantastic Four First Steps, which have Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Mm -hmm. Joseph Quinn, and Yvonne Bach, uh, Marquand from The Bear, playing mm. respectively Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and The uh, Thing. The Thing, and it it seems great. They showed test footage. They showed the Fantastic Car, and the test footage was really like done a couple of days prior to just show them in like costume tests and everything. And their chemi- the chemistry seems great between the actors right. and everything, and. I'm really happy for this. And then now they have a new title, which is Fantastic Four First Steps, mm-hmm. which makes me wonder where this is going. This is an alternate 60s universe. I have a funny feeling. Galactus is, we know Galactus is coming because in the concept video that they showed, which hasn't been released to the public, while they're in the Baxter building, you actually see Galactus rise up and look. Right. right the yeah, Baxter I saw building. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, this is something crazy. Like we're getting Galactus. I think with him being a world devourer, I have a funny feeling that it's going to be something with the multiverse where this Reed Richards is going to be very into figuring out what the multiverse is. He's going to get warned by our female silver surfer that Galactus is also trying to get to the multiverse. Some kind of battle is going to go on. And this is where I think we're going to get RDJ in the first time. It's going to be in this universe. Okay where he will play Victor Von Doom, probably fight the Fantastic Four, and I think Galactus is going to end up winning by devouring the world, but they're going to get out of that. They're going to leave. Like, they're going to shoot off because it's been confirmed that both, all of them, at least the four, are going to show up in both Avengers, now titled Doomsday, and Avengers Secret Wars. So Um. they're going to probably escape whatever ends up happening to their universe, which kills them. I think that the incursion that's happening is going to be, especially with Kevin Feige saying Avengers versus X-Men, we're going to get the Fox universe clashing into the 616 universe. Cool. Because at the end of Deadpool Wolverine, guys, spoilers, he f- saves his universe. Right. I remember that. Yeah. But I think by saving it is going to cause it to go on that collision course of you did what basically what Doctor Strange did, which was something that shouldn't have happened which means they're going to together. So I think that's where we can get in Doomsday is these incursions happening between these two universes, which would eliminate everything that Deadpool just did to save everyone. I feel like people are still going to end up perishing on his universe and he's going to go fucking nuts about this. And maybe that's why he sacrifices himself because he doesn't have anything left, which would lead to the Thor thing. But I think this is where we're going to. And I think Robert Downey Jr. being cast as Dr. Doom is great. I feel like I'd rather it be a variant of Tony Stark. Rather it be. I would want it. Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe everything is the same in his history up to when he got captured. But instead of him being a hero, he went down a dark path after being captured. How would you feel if like it was Victor Von Doom like from the beginning? I have a funny feeling his name is going to end up being Victor Von Stark and Mm. he changes it to Doom at some point. But that's not my question. That's what I think. How would you feel if it was Victor Von Doom from the beginning? I don't 
No, I don't know if I would, would it like be that. weird. I think it would be weird because we have to think of this. No matter what, when we get to this battle, because I'm assuming Doomsday is going to be very much like setting it up Secret Wars, just like mm-hmm. Infinity War set up Endgame. How is Peter going to react? How is Spider-Man going to yeah. react to watching <clears throat> this greatest villain, probably bigger than Thanos in like threat wise. And it's the person that you looked up. So to. in the comics uh, is, is doomsday like bigger than Thanos? Dr. Doom. Yeah. Dr. Doom. Yeah. Dr. Doom has risen to levels bigger than Thanos. Really? He becomes at one point in the, there was two secret wars, one in the eighties, one in the, early 2000s the one in the 80s was when like spider-man uh got the black suit and blah 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 yeah the one in the early 2000s was god emperor doom oh. making battle world so he took everyone from all the universes and literally just made them fight to okay. see who would win huh. so i think that's where we're getting to is like him pulling people from different worlds i think he's gonna probably use some kind of kang technology plus that another thing is, yeah. is he could be a kang variant right yeah that's all that just too. happens to look like robert downey jr you know so like they could go that route but the fact that marvel knew how to pivot we now know kang is out out do you think like do you think since kang is out out and that was disney's way of like saying like kang's awesome we're gonna fucking yeah. sell this guy yeah that in order to bounce back, we need to bring back somebody that, actor-wise, do we need to bring back somebody that has been great before being RDJ? I don't know. I think they can easily, because they're going to have to wrap up the Kang storyline in some way in their narrative. And I think, in my opinion... Because we thought about replacing Kang before, yeah. and it was the actor from mm-hmm. Fallout. Yeah. So I think either do that or you can do like, you know, like where the Kangs were all like assembled at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Mm, yeah. Maybe like when they're all like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They can just edit in. Dr. Doom comes in and just fucking wipes them all out. Like done. So now all the Kangs are gone. Or like I said, it could just be another Kang variant that happens to look like Robert Downey Jr., that has the name Victor Von Doom that just still wipes him out. They got all the thing die. though. That's the thing though. Do they you think it's, it's Disney's way to be like, ah, everyone loves RDJ. Let's bring him back. I don't in this know sort of way. because they are still planning to bring King back in some way because in Moon Knight season two, they have already confirmed that we're going to see King Ramatut, which we saw when he was fighting in the desert. There was one guy with a jean jacket on the back of it had the picture of him. And King Ramata is one of the King variants that went back to the, like mm-hmm. the ancient Egyptian yeah, times yeah, yeah, yeah. ruled. And so I think we're still getting Kangs, at least for a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna be yeah. Jonathan Majors. If maybe he already recorded the scenes, I don't know if they would cut it out or replace him. But we're still gonna get that. So there's gotta be some kind of like right Somewhere end just... point to that. Yeah, story. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I mean. They could have picked anybody, dude. I'm excited for RDJ. I think that he's still going to do great. He, I mean, of course he's going to be great. very surprised that the way the Russo brothers introduced him was the greatest actor in the world. Yeah, that's not I wouldn't, something. I, I'm not saying he's not one he's of good, the top ten. But he's not I the greatest in greatest. the world. I don't think he's the greatest in the world. How many, how many actors there are that are fucking awesome? awesome and been yeah. in the industry forever yeah so like Come i'm not on. entirely sure on that but i will say he has been proven it a lot and especially the way he was in Oppenheimer and like that kind of villain character mm. i think he'll do this very well very justice and he wouldn't have come back if not for a good paycheck and we all know that he's getting it's a paycheck more than 80 million for this role that is before the, before he died like when he died at uh in uh end war or Endgame. Endgame. He didn't do anything. So, I'm bored. His agent was probably like, dude. I will say the difference with this compared to Iron Man is I think we're going to see more of him in general because with Iron Man, a lot of it was like in the suit. Like, mm-hmm. it, right, just that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I think we're going to see more of him mm. with this. And I think that is why he came back. Cause it's like, I want, you know, I like to play complicated characters and I think this is someone More that's going to be him. Yeah. Him. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I'm excited for what Marvel has going. 
Um, I think for the next episode, guys, we're going to talk more about DC. But let us know down below. Like, are you yeah. excited for RDJ coming back? It's going to be interesting. I, I think I am. I think I'm at a 7 out of 10 of how agreeable I am with this. this is just, okay. Um, I'm weary depending on the next few movies because they didn't announce much. But I know that in I think in two or three weeks – they're gonna be doing the D twenty three, guys, and we won't re- right. we won't be recapping that immediately, but we'll probably recap that when we do our Tampa Bay Comic Con episode yeah. because that'll be when we can go over that stuff. So until then, where can they find you? You can find me on any social media platform um, called the Sphere Twenty One, except for TikTok. I am Oliver Con VA. And you can find me at Amory Photography. You can find this podcast at Nerd Locker Podcast. The studio at Archino Studio is official. And we will see you guys next time when we talk yeah. about all things that were of DC. Yeah, and and don't out. worry. I look the same. I promise. I yeah, we're going to look the same. Promise. I, I, look the same. I look the same. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.